Hey guys, I'm back for another video, and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock, and today, I'm finally here, nearly a year later after making it, it is time to make the long-awaited, long-requested Hypixel Skyblock armor tier list. I am live currently, as you can see over here, if you want to stop by my streams, I'm on YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. So any of those three platforms at 30 virus. Also, this goes without saying, but if you are gonna purchase something in the Hypixel store, use code 30 virus. It gives you a discount, gives me a kickback. Everybody wins. I am ranking these armors not just on, oh, is it the best in the game? No. How useful is this armor? at the stage of the game that you get it. It's gonna be a huge push for progression. Is it something that's going to help you, even if it's not the best? And I'm also including not just armor sets, but helmets as well, uh, boots in some cases, anything armor that's interesting. So welcome to my beautiful uh, tier list here that was made with the assistance of AI. That's what the little text is here. Same case as last time. If you missed the weapons tier list, I'll put that in the card once this becomes a video. Chicken head. This is only useful for bingo and or Iron Man. And even then, it's pretty easy to just kill enough chickens for one minion, put that minion over a hopper, and then just collect eggs that way. So I'll give it a D tier out of respect for how it used to be, but at the current moment, there isn't really much of a purpose for it. Let's put it at F. Let's, let's, yeah. All right. I think it goes without saying the rest of these. I don't even know what they do, but they're irrelevant. Clownfish, F. Creeperhead, F. Blaze hat, F. Ghast head, F. Cowhead used to be useful because of Arachne with the poison resistance. I'd give it a D because the poison really doesn't matter anymore, but it's kind of helpful. Arachne is just not a grind that really matters. Fish hat. This is how you open the UI for the Viking. And just for that reason, I'll give it a D tier, but no more. Blobfish gives like health regen, right? Or is that ghast head? I don't remember what Blobfish does. Unless anyone argues that's also going F tier. Fun fact, in real life, Blobfish don't look like a blob until you take them out of their natural environment. Otherwise, they just look like a fish. Salmon hat. This is a memento to the old days of Skyblock. You can't obtain it anymore for the century event they gave these out but as of now still no purpose it's the only helmet i know of with aqua affinity on it it's cool it's a memento item but it's still not useful for progression same with magma cube head i'm not even same that has no significance i'll put salmon hat to the top of f just because it's interesting oh zombie head Again, completely useless, all left here. This is off to a great start. Salmon above chicken is, okay, 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 fine. You know what, I'll upgrade chicken to D, D tier. There, fine, we're keeping it like that. Okay, this one actually has a purpose. Rabbit hat is used for jumping in places you're not supposed to. For example, trap room, I give it a B. Oh, it's useless because pearls now, okay. Down to D tier it goes. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, for some reason, Precursor I caught my eye. Ha. From what I'm aware of, this is used for DPS on Kudra. It's also used for stealing kills with rain slimes. It's really annoying to face, but I will acknowledge that it is a useful item. I'm not sure if I would give it anything better than an A. Not the greatest value. I've yet to get one and my profile is pretty dang strong. So we'll leave it at A. Maybe even B. Chat wants B, I kind of agree. Okay. Oh my God, dude, slime hat. <laughs> this is one of the most troubled histories of an item in the history of Skyblock, dude. Every time they tried to fix the slime hat glitch, it caused some game breaking bug. Anyone remember the piggy cool dupe? Does anyone remember that one time when you could put any block on your head, including backpacks and anvils to make it look like you have a mohawk? They tried fixing, for those that don't know, the slime hat has an ability that negates all knockback. And there was a, there's a series of bugs that allow you, that used to allow you to basically equip the slime hat, switch to some other helmet, and then you regain the knockback resistance, which obviously, I think they finally killed it recently, like in the past six months. So as of now, there might be some utility, but in very niche circumstances, because we do have Shelmet. So I think we're gonna give it a D. 
right? It's very niche. Maybe a C. There might be scenarios where you can use it. I, I, I feel a little anxious about C, but whatever, we'll leave it. Do we start attacking some actual armor sets? We've been mostly going for helmets. Armor of Devon. I don't even have to consult with chat on this one. Like, really? It just is the best armor in the game for mining. And it's not even that expensive. The chambers suck, though. Getting chambers is terrible. But I will acknowledge best mining armor in the game. I've made billions of coins with this armor set. It only makes sense. And it also makes me kind of want to find mineral armor. Here it is. Luckily, everything's alphabetically sorted, it looks like. Mineral armor, this might be a hot take, but also S tier. S plus. Stupid cheap. You can get it pretty much immediately you can use it for one of the best multitasking grinds in the game and that's mine of devon gold so mine of devon gold is great because it gets money 20 million coins an hour it also gets you to the you know gold collection for golden dragon i'm going for a bill right now we're halfway and it's useful for spawning jerry's during jerry festival it's useful for getting a lot of ores quickly it's just a goaded armor armor personally i think they should make it also work on red sand mycelium and flint but that's just me maybe even sand too like excavation blocks. I think this should be the excavation armor set. I think that's what that category of blocks should be called. Ooh, crystal armor. In my opinion is baby's first mage armor. Actually, this is perfect. Dark goggles is right next to it. This right here, three fourths crystal with dark goggles is how you start mage and I'm gonna group them together. You're not gonna use it for long. When paired with a dreadlord sword, this will get you through dungeons decently well up to like maybe floor three. And it's pretty decent when paired with, for example, voodoo doll, aurora staff. You could probably kill crimson isle mobs. You'll struggle, but you can. So honestly, for how cheap it is versus how good the return is, it's useless because of Dragon Shorpo now. I disagree. I think this deserves a solid A. The both of these. I think this is a really good progression skip. And I still to this day think Mage is a really good way to start the game. Although Shorpos are nice, definitely. Oh, Magma Fish Hat, whoops. Missed that one, F. Glacide Armor. It's your first mining set. It gives like what, 50 mining speed per piece or something like that, I don't remember. This is what you're gonna use up until Yogg, but it's kind of annoying to use. It's really annoying to drop all the pieces. I get flashbacks to how long it took to get one stupid Glacide helmet. And now that bow swapping is dead, ugh. I think I'll give it a ugh. okay B. Uh, let's give it a C. Uh, let's give it a C because it's no longer the go-to early game just armor to use in general because of there's other yeah. Let's give it a C. Emerald armor. F tier. It used to be the best armor in the game like a long, long time ago, like before the end update, but now it's not. Crown of Greed. This used to be the best damage helmet in the game technically, but it costs coins to hit mobs. I don't think I want to you know pay 300,000 coins per hit to kill a mob. If there was an F minus tier, Crown of Greed would go in F minus. Oh, by the way, some of the textures were not in first sky. So creeper pants is cactus pants. Don't worry about it. Kalhuiki mask. That's another one I missed from the massacre. F. Enderman mask. It's It gives you negative intelligence and I, I've yet to see anyone use it. I think it makes it so Endermen don't attack you, which is completely useless. So. Uh, F. This is given to you when you find a secret spot in Dwarven Mines, and I believe it's like once every seven skyblock days in the morning hours, they have a ritual that gives you basically free beacon fuel. For those that have like notifications set up and just go and do it, it's pretty good. It'll save you like maybe 10 minutes of grinding treasure hunters. It's not as big a deal as people make it out to be. It's inoffensive, but I always forget to use it. I, I'd say it's C. It's not bad, but I don't think it's up to precursor eye levels of usefulness. Cactus armor. I mean, this is completely useless. I remember when Time Dio used cactus armor to AFK gas back when that was a thing three years ago. There's gonna be a lot of F tier armors, by the way. Just letting you know now, armor of growth. It's like the precursor to Mastiff and you're never gonna use it until it's Mastiff. So F. Speaking of Mastiff, now we can get somewhere. Okay. It is a really good 
um, survivability armor set. It's great. For, it's pretty much required for fire trial. Pretty much required for killing ghosts before you get any decent damage. When paired with shaman slash pooch sword, you actually can do really good damage if you have high magic power and you use um, the crit damage one. I honestly really like Mastiff Armor. I used it in my first few runs of Kudra as well. And I still, every now and again, find a purpose to pull it out again. So you know what? I mean, Mastiff? Okay. Mastiff gets A. Precursor gets A. Crystal Armor and Dark Goggles get B. I think that's better. I think that makes a bit more sense. Mithra Coat is an item that basically maxes out your damage that you take. So if you get hit with a billion damage, infinite integer limit damage, it'll max out at 40% of your max health, which is good if you tend to get one shot, which only really happens in a few cases. For example, let's say you're killing an Enderman Slayer and he throws a beacon behind a wall. It's either Wither Cloak Sword or Mithra Coat or you die. For example, Kudra, when the, the fleet of ghasts come and then they just keep on exploding and murdering you. This is useful for that. I used to use it for Blaze Slayer T3s and up, but honestly, Sorrow Chest Plate's just better. Focus on true defense and vitality. This item's definitely fallen off, in my opinion, from where it used to be. I would have given it an A easily, but now it's kind of niche. I'd give it a B, I would say. I'd say that's a fair goblin armor. This one was kind of disappointing honestly reduces oh it's intelligence for mining speed okay yeah this is a cool concept but unfortunately it's not balanced at all and it just sucks so like it gives you mining speed per intelligence which i think is kind of neat i kind of wish that there was like a niche scenario where you could like have for example maxed intelligence and then somehow this would be the best for a very specific grind but at the moment if there was a block that regardless of your mining fortune dropped one of whatever its yield is every single time then if goblin armor was to get updated to give more speed then maybe it would have a purpose but for right now f unfortunate it's a cool mechanic but Eh. Golem armor. F. Aurora. Oh. It's just better storm. It has attributes. Super expensive. But I don't think any of that matters. It's the best mage armor in the game. So, I think out of obligation, S plus better than these two in my opinion. Because damage is king. Krampus helmet. This one's been staring at me for a few minutes. It's a rare drop from gifts. And it's a pyramid scheme. Krampus helmet's a minion upgrade that lets it lets you drop red gifts you can basically buy it for money put it in a minion and then use it to generate red gifts and then make more money you only make money if you're in the system the problem is i've gotten one and i've had it running in a minion for like two weeks now and i haven't gotten a single red gift is there something am i doing something wrong because <laughs> it's just straight up not working uh it's a museum slot it gives you a little bit of skyblock xp but like really it's not gonna do anything d tier i'd give it a d tier it's not a great item it, i was very glad to drop it but i'm not using it at all maybe if it actually gave red gifts like a good amount of red gifts i'd give it a better rating but i've yet to even get a single red gift from it so we'll, we'll keep it a d just for the potential they fix it but uh, enchanted jack-o-lantern this is the cousin of farmer boots that can't get a job <laughs> farmer boots give you farming fortune per was a farming level i believe enchanted jack-o-lantern does the same but also gives you fortune on like pumpkins or something it's just not good fermento helmet's better it was good for like two weeks yeah so like it was barely i i'll give it a d maybe for the off chance you can't afford crappie, but like, come on, come on now. <laughs> like realistically, who's gonna use that? I'll give it a D tier out of respect, if anything, for the mechanic. I, I'm a I'm a big fan of interesting mechanics in video games. I, I just can't help but appreciate when something is kind of cool and the dynamic is cool. It's just too bad the balancing doesn't match up with that. Since we are talking about farming stuff, I'm trying to see if I can find rancher boots in the list here. I think this should be an S plus as well. I'll give farmer boots an S and I'll give rancher boots an S plus. There you go. If I can freaking find it. There it is. 
The reason being, it gives you, like I said before, a farming fortune per farming level, and it lets you precisely set your speed, which is really useful for farming. I've been doing it for a thousand hours and I'm about to max garden. So trust me, rancher boots are good. Man, people don't like farmer boots though. Do people still remember when I was selling them for 400K and thinking that that was normal and I wasn't accidentally market manipulating back in like 2019? Uh, all right, fine. We'll put it down. Uh, let's give farmer boots an A then. My first ever controversy was me crafting farmer boots and selling them on the AH and I didn't get the concept yet of contraband. <laughs> So, hey, so people were paying more just because it was me selling them. Uh, oh, skeleton skull. Um, F. It's another head that I missed. Oh, pumpkin armor. This is another similar to rancher boots in um, appearance. Completely useless in concept as far as I remember. F. Blaze armor for a long time was debated in the community. It was like, is it superior that's better? or is it blaze and i think over time it turned out that power creep would just keep on chugging but blaze armor worked off of a percentage which meant that it kept catching up to the meta especially frozen blaze like somehow it's still relevant all this time later without any significant buffs as far as i know even then you're still probably going to want to use crimson necron i think frozen blaze is the best armor for stranded but the reason i like it so much is because of frozen blaze fishing and you could do it with regular blaze armor too. And it's just the best way to fish in the game. You get tons of bestiary, you get tons of items and drops, tons of fishing XP. It's just, it's great. I love blaze armor, dude. I think I'd give blaze armor an, an S, yes. Because anything that ends the grind of fishing faster is a plus in my book same for frozen blaze we're giving them both s arachne armor its only function is to give you spider essence but for that purpose it's quite good if you're spamming arachnes you might as well keep salvaging them i would never wear it though so i'd give it a d <laughs> it's probably in this category oh right next to cowhead perfect let's uh pour myself a drink here <laughs> no the coaster Ooh, this one's gonna get people talking Crystallized heart. I have some opinions on this item. I think it is massively overrated for Enderman Slayer. People used to think, and perhaps still do think, that this is just the way to break into Enderman Slayer. Maybe, but like Final Destination with good kill counts is so much better. Chat wants to give it a good rating, but I just don't think so, dude. I'm thinking about it. It's like, oh, for those that don't know, Crystallized Heart, it doubles your healing, right? I think I'll give it a C. I'm tempted. It's like low B, high C. It's not the worst, but like you're not going to use it. It does double it. Okay. They all give double healing. So that includes zombie heart, which to be honest, this is just a crafting ingredient. I wouldn't genuinely use the zombie heart as like a piece of armor, but if you do, it's something. So let's give it a D, I guess. Revived heart. You're not going to be using it for Enderman Slayer because crystallized heart is so much cheaper. By the time you can afford a revived heart, you're not going to use it. It doesn't double. It gives 100 mending and vitality. That's effectively double though. I think revived heart also D. Like crystallized heart is above revived heart, which seems a bit goofy, but it's only because of when you get it in the game. By the time you get a revived heart, you're not gonna use it. Like you'll use it to craft stuff, but you're not gonna actually like use it as a helmet. So there you go. That might be disappointing to some people, but I don't think it's that good. Ender armor. I'm a bit of a simp for this armor sin. I'm not gonna lie. The go-to armor for starting the game, first of all, this is your first armor set if you're on bingo nowadays. Maybe second armor set. It doubles all your stats on the end island. And since you get it so early in the end island, it's a really solid progression. I wouldn't say skip, but like it progresses you pretty quickly. And this is including the equipment too. So like the eight piece set, it increases the damage of Void Sword, which is just, if anyone remembers the weapon tier list, Void Sword absolutely annihilated like 30% of the entire tier list. And you're gonna be using this for a good bit. Like it's a solid, like this is every single Skyblock player at some point is gonna want Ender Armor. Does it get an S plus for that? No, it gets an S. 
I think it's a really goaded armor set. You're not going to use it anymore once you're done with it, which for that reason, I think I'm going to demote it to A. That's it's, that's it's solid. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll give it an A. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, but it is a really good armor set. And technically, it is the best armor set in the game for mining Obby technically because of the doubling stats on the end island thing if you were to put jaded on it and recom it i would be stupid but you technically can someone in chat said final destination and i tend to agree this one's easy for me i don't really have to think too hard on this one it's just the go-to armor set for blaze or not blaze for enderman slayer you can build up 200k kills on it and i kind of like the mechanic of it it has the same energy as like booting up Pokemon and then just grinding out like the first route for like 10 hours and then just steamrolling through all the gyms after the fact. That's how I feel about Final Destination. You can just keep building and building and building kills on it. And then when you finally actually take on the boss, you don't take that much damage. So I do quite like it, but I don't think that earns the S plus. I think it's a solid S only because once you get E-Man 9, you're never using it again. I'd even say lower than these two, yeah. Armor of the Rising Sun. As cool as this is for me and like half a dozen other people during an event that ended two and a half years ago. F. Sorry, Technoblade. Uh, farm armor, farm suit. Both completely useless. Maybe you'll craft it and then use it for like three seconds before you get crappie armor. It's just bad. I don't, okay, you know what? Whichever one gives farming fortune, I'll give a D, and the other one, I'll give an F. Which one's which? Both give farming fortune? Oh, which one do people actually use then? People actually make farm suit? Okay, so that one's gonna get a D then. Farm armor gets an F. I'm looking at so many armor sets that are completely useless. Like, it's bad. Adaptive armor, do people use this at all? No. You could just dungeonize dragon armor. F, armor of the pack. You can bring the pants into Rift and use that for progression, but that's not gonna score any points in my book. F, bouncy armor. It's only used as museum and up until recently it was really, really, really freaking annoying to drop. And even now it's not as bad, but still no. F, <laughs> no use in the game. Great spook armor. It's event armor. I'm pretty sure I didn't even use it during the event. Um, bad. D. Sure. No. F. <laughs> Leaflet armor. It's only used as museum. Mushroom armor. This used to be the go-to first armor set in the game because it would triple its stats at night. And if you were to give it Grow 5 Prop 5 with uh, Titanic Reforge, not bad for starting Fire Trial. And it's decent for survivability. You're not going to use it once you get Ender armor. D. Pufferfish hat. I remember this one. Anyone remember that chicken farm I had back in the day where because of the pufferfish hat, you cast a fishing rod down into a little pool of water currents going to the middle with a bunch of chicken minions. And then the chickens would reach the middle, hit the bobber, and because of the pufferfish hat's ability, which is basically thorns, it just insta kills them. And you could do that forever, but then the admins patched it and made it so that you can't cast a fishing rod for more than like two minutes at a time. So unfortunately, F. That was one of the coolest farms I'd ever used. Skeleton grunt armor, F. I don't care what people say, it's grunt armor. It's not that good. It's just a museum slot. A lot of these are. People put Pesterminator on mushroom for bestiary. As someone who literally maxed out the bestiary after already being three fourths of the way through Max and Garden and never using sprays, not even one time, you don't need to go specifically for pests. If you plan on at least getting to like the 5,000 visitor mark, which maxes out the fortune bonus, with green thumb, um, you'll more than compensate for the beast here. You really don't need to do that, but fine. Mushroom armor just for the pest terminator thing. That's novel. It's cool. It's interesting. Let's give it a high C. Not as good as crystallized heart though. Minor outfit, permanent haste two, which is useless i used to use this for some very niche purposes like grinding out the cobble generator at the very start of the game to sell rock pets i'll give it a d out of respect for that but even then it's probably not squire armor not worth it unless you're on stranded because ender armor goodbye starlight armor just get three-fourths crystal and dark goggles 
by rosetto armor same as the other two by i feel like shadow goggles is probably gonna be right next to dark goggles it's just the required progression i i don't know it, it's nothing really groundbreaking it's just more damage than dark goggles so sure i guess that deserves to be in that case but that makes me wonder about wither goggles i have to give this one a high ranking just like aurora just like a lot of helmets in this game it's just overpowered i wither goggles is just goaded it gives you so much ability damage that it's just an obvious s plus it's one of it's the best mage helmet in the game it's better than aurora helmet which means technically it should be better than aurora armor there you go. Wither Goggles is currently the top armor set in the tier list. Armor piece in the tier list. Speedster armor. Completely outclassed by Young Dragon. Skeletor armor. It's just a museum piece. Bye. Skeleton Soldier. Hot take. Some people like it. I don't. F. Skeleton Master. Now we're getting somewhere. So Skeleton Master as an armor set, wouldn't recommend. The chest plate, though. The chest plate has an ability that makes it so that you do not need to refill your arrows, including specialty arrows, apparently. So, like, armor shred or, like, bouncy arrows. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the ability makes it so you have infinite of whatever type of arrow you want, which is effectively, for lazy people like me, just straight up a damage boost. Even if you don't consider that with flint arrows only, it does, like, 5% less damage than, like, Necron when maxed out but it gives you like infinite ammo and i have a feeling me personally i'm gonna be using a 50 oh specifically 50 out of 50 m7 skeleton master chest plate specifically i would not recommend using skeleton master unless you have a really really high gear score and floor chest plate specifically and for that reason i think it deserves an a it's really just qol technically, but I really like it. And for fish brains like me that otherwise would just not use specialized arrows, I think that's a solid A since we're rating the set. No, the set's F. Uh, we're not rating the set. It's just the chest plate that matters. Berserker armor. It's expensive. Its ability doesn't matter. And it's just a museum slot. So F. It uses enchanted red sand cubes. Isn't there also another equivalent set? Simmering light. Thank you, chat. Or shimmering light, right? Or is it simmering or shimmering? I think I might I think it's not here. Well, you know what? I guess that is gonna be an honorary F tier. Spider hat, uh, F. Here's an interesting one, Sorrow Armor. Sorrow is interesting. I quite like this armor set. It gives decent mining fortune and speed, although I just recommend Yogg for that, to be honest, and then just go straight to Devon. But if you are progressing a bit slowly, maybe you don't play that much, and you just need an armor set that's like pretty decent for mining specifically, it's not bad. But that's not why we're talking about it. We know why we're talking about it. It's for true defense, for the chest plate with Blaze Slayer. And you're going to be using that. Oh, it's also the best set in the game for Magic Find, unless you have technically Magma Lord with good attributes, but we don't talk about that. Sorrow's got true defense. It's got Magic Find. This is a great entry to the list here. Sorrow chest plate's basically going to be go-to for Blaze Slayer until you get like God Roll chest plate, like Magic Find 10 um vitality or no it'd probably be magic mind veteran right and up until that point it would be veteran vitality obviously i don't think it's quite an s plus but i'll give it an s it's good you're gonna switch to it and use a daedalus axe with a golden dragon pet with all enrichments on magic find beacon set to magic find eating the cakes using what's that ultimate enchant that i can't think of right now legion creeper pants f lapis armor it's a museum entry only. F. Don't go for don't go for lapis. Doesn't it's not worth your time. Rotten armor. It's another one of the useless dungeon sets. Skeleton Lord. Not worth your time. Most of the crappy ones have been filtered out. Zombie Commander armor, also just museum. Zombie Knight armor? Okay. Zombie Knight chestplate 50 out of 50. Isn't the worst. Then again, just get a Shadow Assassin chestplate at this point. They're not that pricey. I would give this a D. Just out of respect for the Shadow Assassin nons. <laughs> Three-fourth Shadow Assassin with Zombie Knight chestplate 50 out of 50. It is what it is. We'll give that a D. Heat Armor, Flame Breaker. Honestly, I consider these pretty much the same thing. The strategy at the start of mining 
once you get into Crystal Hollows, it's not the start of mining, but once you get to the start of Crystal Hollows, the strategy used to be to wait until that event, Gone with the Wind, face the wind, and then Instabrink Hardstone in order to craft these two, and then get started with mining. So I'd give these two probably like a C? I'd give it a, okay, if I'm going to be consistent, I probably should give it either a high C or a low B. I think a high C. Like the drain. High C. It's your first ever, whatever. But Yogg armor is interesting because Yogg will increase your mining speed based on kills on Yogg's. Now, for those that are planning to max out Yogg armor, most of the time it's not worth it, but if you find yourself in a situation where you're at a mine of Devon and somebody dug out underneath and is doing the blue cheese goblin egg strat where they insta mine the gold from underneath, tons of Yogg spawn in that area for some reason. A lot of them spawn in the bow chamber. There's a few big uh, chambers that spawn a good number of Yogg's. I would not suggest randomly adventuring in Crystal Hollows to kill Yogg's because it'll take you 10 years to max out the armor. So it's not bad. It's a good armor set. It's what got me started. It, it's basically what carried me all the way up until Devon. So I think for that, it kind of, I think it deserves an A. Right around here. I think A tier is very fair. And it, and it has a Topaz slot. That's important. This is the cheapest armor set to have um, Topaz slot. Very important. And it's technically the best in the game for mining speed if you sacrifice fortune, but no one does that. Oh, how did I miss Celeste armor? That's another instant F. Snowsuit, it's the go-to armor set for Jerry Festival that no one participates in. D? And that's like it's the best I could do, sorry. Um, well, it's the go-to starting armor. And then you have Nutcracker armor, which is better. I still don't see much of a use for it. To be honest, if you don't have Frozen Blaze, then maybe you can use it for Frozen Blaze fishing. It's a bit more useful than Snow Armor, so I'm thinking maybe a C. It gives Magic Find. Okay, it's not terrible, I guess. But it's nothing to write home about. I just use um, Blaze Armor for Jerry fishing, but I guess. So plus five Magic Find for everybody. <laughs> Bozo Mask, all right, sure. Bozo Mask is kind of nice. I kind of like it. It's a free death every run, essentially, in dungeons. It's cheap. Yeah, it's good for when you're just starting with like floor seven and you enter into the phase two of the boss. If you get nuked, you'll survive. If you get crushed by a pillar, you'll survive. If you fall in the lava one too many times, you'll survive. So it's pretty good. It's not bad. I kind of like it, but there's something better. So I'll give it a B. Spirit mask. It's a bonzo mask that will save your life, but not heal you, but the cooldown is six times faster, which means you could skill issue even more. And with good uh, vitality slash health regen slash whatever, you're not gonna be that much at risk of dying as long as you're paying attention because of the three seconds of invulnerability. Spirit Mask, absolutely goaded, love this item. I'd give it an S. I like Spirit Mask a lot. Spirit Mask is better because extra death outside dungeons. I remember using it on Jobus. Oh yeah, that almost makes me want to upgrade it. Nah, we're keeping it. All right, we're putting it up a few tiers. It's going to go like here, maybe. It's still S, but it's it's good. It's a good item. I like it. All right, I'll be chest plate. It gives you speed per obsidian in your inventory. I'm going to be honest because of tuning points, because of just getting more speed in general from more sources. It's not useful anymore. It's just a museum slot. So unfortunately, D. Because maybe it's a useful tool for getting like a precise speed if you don't have enough magic power, but even then it's so early in the game at that point, like why even bother? It's probably an F, but out of respect for the past, I'll give it a D. Oh, you know what? True, Obby Chestplate with Snail Pet isn't the worst. I could totally see that. Just for that, I'll actually upgrade it to a C. I think chat's right on that. Water Hydra Head, you're not gonna use it as an armor piece, but you will use it to make eye drops, which instantly puts it at a minimum. I mean, what is it like three X your chance for rare drops from Inferno minions or something to that effect? It's pretty good. It's annoying to grind, but it's just needed for progression. I think because of how annoying they are to get and how limited they are, especially for Iron Man, I'm gonna give it a B. It's 30% speed. Yeah. Spooky armor. You deal extra damage to spooky mobs, right? Th completely irrelevant. Oh, it gives you candy chance, doesn't it? It does give you candy chance. 
I'm still giving it an F. I'll give it a D, actually. I'll give it a D. But only because of how cheap and easy it is to get. To get bat person armor. Which is just the better spooky armor. And even then, once you're done with, like, a few good spooky festivals, you're never going to use this again. The infinite grapple ability just doesn't matter i think if they upgraded it to 3x during the night and 4x during mining or during uh spooky then maybe i'm not earning any it's not earning any bonus points zombie soldier museum entry only doesn't matter f zombie lord f zombie armor precursor to reaper armor uh its purpose technically is to be final destination, but for Zombie Slayer, which is completely useless, and it doesn't even start counting kills until it's Reaper. So Zombie Armor, F. Reaper Armor has some purposes though. Full set bonus without a helmet. That's nice. And rage for six seconds, dealing, gaining 100 speed, 100 damage, and 100 strength. So that's why people use it right there is the sneak ability and rage. And I'm guessing for Kudra, right? For a quick damage boost? Yeah. Okay. Reaper armor? Oh, I forgot. Revenant armor. Yeah, that's also an F. That's the upgrade of zombie armor. Forgot about that one. There's Reaper armor. Yeah, I'd give that for the extra damage on crouch thing for Kuja. I think this is a very similar to Precursor Eye. It's used in probably the exact same context now that I think about it. It's probably three-fourths Reaper with Precursor Eye, if I had to guess. So we'll leave it there. It's a low A tier. Sniper helmet? Useless. I don't even remember which one this is. There's minor outfit, right, right. This this is the useless one, right? This gives you extra stats in like mining islands. Useless. Rampart armor. It's good for crimson essence and nothing else. Okay, fine, you're a D. You could salvage them for like five essence, wow. Woo. Oh man, witch mask. I remember this strat, dude. This used to be the go-to helmet for fishing. Three-fourth salmon with, with witch mask. It would make so many people mad, but the loot share you would get. Oh, it's like a way to automatically kill mobs. It's basically the Frozen Blaze thing before Frozen Blaze. Um, but they, as far as I know, broke it. D. Okay, they also have a Vampire Mask, which I'm going to rank the exact same way. Vampire Witch Mask. Actually, no, Vampire Mask? That might just be an F. Vampire Witch Mask is an item that's currently unobtainable, but it's actually really, really good. It's unbalanced as hell. If it existed, I'd probably give it like an A or a B, but it doesn't. So F, unfortunately. All right, we're getting down to the brass tacks here. This is some of the best stuff in the game, except for stone chest plate. Let's get rid of stone chest plate. Same with metal chest plate. These are like tank pieces. Okay, so Mender helmet and fedora F, but crown higher. Stone and metal are bad. Metal chest plate is OP on floor six, so your teammates don't die. Mender crown, okay. C, use reaper helmet. In master mode, reaper mask is better. Mender crown is worse than reaper mask, and metal and stone chest plate are bad. So Mender crown, it seems like it's not terrible, but it's outclassed. So let's give it like a C. And then we'll get Reaper Mask. So this also doubles your healing, right? And it makes it so that you are a really good healer slash tank, correct? This is my bias showing through. I've never played tank. I don't plan on playing tank. So I'll put it at A tier, I guess. I'll bump Mender Crown up to a B, but that's the best I'm gonna do. Full set bonus, Nether Lord. Will create obsidian below you when walking on lava. Also increases the chance of nether monsters dropping an item by 20%. Okay, I don't witness the obby part. Wearing the full set will prevent you from taking lava and fire damage. Unfortunately, I can't rank it that high because as goaded as that ability is, the armor is literally not obtainable. It's good for like fishing up the crates. Yeah, because you could jump in the lava. You're immune to the damage. You can use a fishing rod to like pull the crates away from the edge and then root it around to a spot that's like safer and the tentacles don't get you. It honestly, I would put this at like A or even S if you could get it, but you can't. I'm almost tempted to give it an F because you can't get it. But just because there's people in the audience that could technically buy it from AH, I'll give it a B. I really wish they added it back to the game though, cause like the <clears throat> the supplies part of Kudra is the worst part of the entire fight by a mile. No, I'd, I'd give it a high B. Even, I again, I'd give it an S if you could get it, but you can't. Thunder armor. It is basically the dungeon version of Aurora. So it's the go-to mage armor set in dungeons, which barely matters because in master mode, you're not gonna be playing mage. I'd give it an S. Oh, wait, 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 I'm thinking of Storm. 
I'm thinking of Storm. This is different. This is the fishing armor set. Wait, 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 wait. Brain fart. Storm. There it is. Storm is S. Sorry. <laughs> Thunder armor. Fine. I was I was holding on to it, even though I was talking about Storm. Yeah, this is the fishing armor. Thunder frags are fairly easy to get. Frozen blaze slash blaze is just better. But if you're going to be fishing by yourself or with a couple of people, it's it's pretty good. It's a, it's a decent fishing set. I don't hate it. I think that earns it like a B. Magma Lord. Controversial take, Nygma Lord's not that great of an armor set because of Frozen Blaze. I'll give it an A. Technically the best fishing armor in the game if you don't do the Frozen Blaze strat. It has the most sea creature chance of any armor set in the game, but once you max out sea creature chance, it doesn't matter. And you can get above 100% even without Marina if you use Bobbin Time on Frozen Blaze. Fishing speed, again, you can max it out with Frozen Blaze if you're good enough at the game. All right, we're getting some pushback from chat, particularly Rexu and Looter, which are both pretty goaded at fishing. So, you know what, fine. I guess I'll reluctantly give it an S, even though I really don't like it that much. I'm putting it below Frozen Blaze and you can't stop it. Wither armor, it's used to craft all the other armors, but you're never gonna wear it by itself. F. Technically, it does better effective HP than three out of the four sets. Doesn't matter. Wise Dragon Armor. You're not going to use Wise Dragon that much. I would rather have, in dungeons at least, Young Dragon Armor with Wise Reforge on it because speed is nice. It's like a high C, and that's generous. Young Dragon Armor. In my opinion, better than Wise because you can put Wise Reforge on it, and it still has pretty decent intelligence in dungeons, and it gives you speed. Oh, you know what? Perfect. Crystal Armor with Dark goggles and then young dragon armor with shadow goggles that's the mage progression right there for in dungeons not to mention young dragon armor is also technically the best armor in the game to use with snail pet necromancer lord it's the same exact concept as young dragon armor but instead of speed it's like defense and effective health like i've seen some people have their mage progression go from young dragon armor to necromancer lord for effective health but at that point you're probably better off just skipping the storm farm for like four hours to get the money like who cares it's good because you can tank you can use tank and mage i mean i'll give it a C maybe i would rank it similarly to wise dragon it's just like eh. strong dragon i'm trying to really think about my progression in this game as an Iron Man player, I did not use a lot of dragon armor. Now we have Shadow Assassin now, we have, no. Yeah, strong dragon armor used to be like a really good value armor set, but it's been completely outclassed in most ways, most ways. So I'll give it a D tier, I think. Superior, best armor set in the game, specifically for pet luck. I think I'd give it a B. How funny would it be if I put superior below young dragon armor? Stereo pants, bro. If I could give this a Z tier, I would. Most annoying. Also, I don't know what happened to the texture there. It's one of the most annoying features of this entire game. Lowest F tier. Squid boot, squid hat. They both give you extra chance for squids, right? Which is super niche. I'm going to need to do this to get bait ring and fan fish. Squid hat D, squid boot F. I think one of the two doesn't give you increased chance for squids. I just don't remember which one. I'll give them both a D tier. It's so niche that it doesn't matter. Boots don't. Okay, the boots are useless, so F. We're going to keep stereo pants at the absolute bottom of F. Dark and shadow goggles switch. I'll put them next to each other. I'll, yeah. All right, that's the only adjustment we're making. Let's move on. Flaming chest plate, uh, useless museum slot only. Fervor armor. This is one of the Kuja armor sets. As far as I know, completely useless. Yeah, I mean it's probably a, it's probably better than a lot of armor sets on this list. But considering when you get it in the game, you're never gonna use it. I'll put it in D, only because of attributes. Technically, fervor is also going to represent hollow. I think they both were going to have the same rating because of attributes and people using it as like a budget storm, which I would never recommend, but people use it for that high D tier. Sure. It's good if you're poor werewolf armor, uh, because of terror, I feel like it's almost completely outclassed. I mean, it's good for weaker bosses that have like a damage cap per hit. For example, Arachne, Dragons. But you're really not gonna... Oh, you use it for bow? Okay, okay. I think top of C tier is good. Sorry, 
ignore that i ranked flaming chest plate in f i was getting it confused with a different i think it was with like flaming sword or something wrong item this is the nether sea creature set and it's <laughs> It's better than shark scale armor and it costs about 15 times less or more. So actually not bad. It has attributes. I think the whole set deserves like a C tier maybe. Maybe B. I'm going to put it at C. I think thunder armor is decently easy to get. So I think because of how high the fishing level requirement is, especially for Taurus helmet, like literally you're going to be using a Taurus helmet for like probably less than 10 hours of gameplay because by the time you get the fishing level, you'll just start with um, thunder anyways. Oh, you know what? The, I, I'm kind of hating right now. I'm being a hater. I acknowledge that. I really don't like shark scale armor. It makes me angry. It's so expensive and it's so bad. You get like, what? 2.5 sea creature chance with the nether set, right? I'm pretty sure it's even worse with shark scale. It's like 1.5 sea creature chance per armor piece. Absolute trash. The reforges give plus one. It's so annoyingly bad in sea creature chance. Honestly, put it in D. I don't like shark scale at all. It's a really irritating armor set to get. It's 2.5% per piece. It's still not great. It's just, I don't like it, dude. I really don't. Uh, salmon armor. I'm gonna rank salmon armor higher because screw you shark scale. I remember grinding for that and it sucked. Anyways, yeah, I'm ranking all, pretty much all the fishing armors except for Frozen Blaze way lower than most people would just because Frozen Blaze is that good. And Shark and D, yeah, it's not worth it. I mean, you're gonna want it for like museum, but the disrespect, I'm being a massive hater for fishing. I always have been. I don't hate it as much as dungeons, but I do hate it. Old Dragon, its only use is to be salvaged. F, Holy Dragon armor the same thing f protector f unstable armor for a long time strong was considered the go-to like budget option for dragon armors but i really think unstable takes that it's cheap it's good for early game it's really annoying to go against because of its passive ability with like goblins is it not patched still i feel like it is and it has been for a while i can't hate on it that much but i can't give it that much credit either i put strong in d so I think it's only fair I put unstable in C. It's still not that great. I would go for other armor pieces. Like, again, young dragon armor is just better value overall. It's not as much damage technically, but like with how easy it is to get coins, especially if you just like hop straight in the rift and just get like 30 mil an hour by just grinding items no one else wants, <clears throat> then you could skip so much progression. Necron armor. My instinct is telling me either here or like here. I would put it right here and here's why technically the best berserker armor right for dungeons but let's think about this if you're going to be an archer i know i just said berserker but necron's also used for archer if you were to be an archer you could use a skeleton master chest plate if you want speed you can use maxor boots right so you're really only using necron leggings right because you're not going to use the helmet no one ever uses the helmet. All right, you know what? Fine. I'll rank it around where Storm is. But the reason I don't like Necron armor is because I don't feel like it's powerful enough for how expensive it is to like max it with all the stars and the, I don't know. I'm expecting more. No, here's what it is. I expect more progression. I don't mind spending extra if I can make the ceiling higher. And with Necron, you really can't. So it's like, I Crimson armor is just better outside of dungeons for fairly cheap but in dungeons yeah but i could see a setup using a terminator where you have a diamond head you would use a skeleton master chest plate necron boots and mac or necron leggings and then max or boots i don't know i think that's a fair spot to put it i don't like it as much as storm but it's it is what it is it's still a good armor set but i'm gonna knock it down a few pegs because i think it could be better i think it deserves a buff crimson armor now we're talking now we're getting somewhere because you have swipe and you have increased damage i mean it's goaded you can use it technically as a rcm mage set if you were to get m uh mana pool mana region on it that's kind of sick obviously veteran vitality it's the best slayer set in the game i think crimson might be it's either the single best armor set in the game or it's tied for first 
or it's second. It's it's gotta be S plus. I'm gonna put it right there. And what do you pair with Crimson Armor? At least in Slayers, Warden Helmet. I was about to put it in S plus, but let's think about this for a second. What do you use Warden Helmet for? Kudra, Blaze Slayer. I think that's about it. <laughs> All right, I think that puts it i'll put it in s it's still like technically best helmet in the game for blaze slayer not even technically it just is um i don't know why i waited this long to point this out angler armor uh it's your fish it's your fish it's your first fishing armor i don't think it's as good as salmon right so it's a okay we're gonna put it below salmon then yeah i'd say c tier for our angler it's fine you're not gonna use it for very long Ooh, terror armor i think this one is even more niche than necron to be honest but it's still a really good armor set it's the go-to for kudra dps i'd probably put it around where crimson is I'd, I'd give it an s plus Ooh, so this is where we get to the spots in the game that i'm not that okay i have a feeling cheap and fancy t okay cheap tux i'm gonna give a d just because it's only three mil to max out the talisman for the Romero quest. Fancy Tux, F, because why? And then Elegant Tux, it's needed for Kudra Follower Relic and Mandible. It's for the quest line. Well, I guess by that logic, I have to put it in a similar spot to where I put the cheap Tux, huh? At the bottom of D tier, let's go. Ghostly Boots, as far as I know, useless. Oh, let's maintain that Serio Pants being in the last spot of F. Hardened Diamond, it's completely outclassed. Mm, goodbye. Heavy Armor, completely outclassed. Goodbye. Ember Ash doesn't exist. F. Tarantula Armor, the double jump has with the boots hasn't been useful for quite a while. Ember Ash is unobtainable. It was crafted with 24 coal before Crystal Hollow's released and it sucked. Yeah, so F. Um, honestly, Tarantula probably also F. Oh, Helmet. I forgot tarantula helmet. Oh, okay. I mean, you're still probably not gonna wanna use it, but like the helmet, as far as I'm aware, gave you strength per crit damage that you had, right? Or is it the other way around? It was something like that. It's pretty mid. Like so much power creep has happened that tarantula helmet's kind of fallen from grace. Same with the boots. So like, I think that maybe earns it a D? Like a high D? I'll give it a C. You know what? It's expensive to get a Warden Helmet. You're not gonna use Crown of Greed. Then again, at that point, Crimson Helmet's probably better. Eh, I'll put it in C. Monster Hunter Armor. Way too much effort to get. You're not gonna use it by the time you get all the stuff, especially Creeper Pants. F. Okay, you know what? That's harsh. I would give it a D, maybe? It's decent damage. I used it on my hardcore profile. Tarantula Helmet's Dungeonizable. That's not gonna save it. I would still keep it at a C. Diver Armor. It's used to get Golden Wand or whatever it was called. Alchemist Staff? Alchemist Staff. D tier. Where's Sponge Armor? Or did I already rank Sponge Armor? Maybe I did. Let's assume that I didn't. F tier. Maxor. The boots give speed. This is the Archer Armor set, right? In Dungeons? I don't see people running Maxor. Is it just the boots for the speed? Yeah, people just... Okay. In that case, I can't give it any better than like... I mean, sure, I'll give it the lowest of eight here, I guess. Uh, perfect armor, completely outclassed in every way, super, super expensive, and it's upgrade I've yet to get because it requires diamond essence, absolute trash, F. Oh, how do they skip shadow assassin? This is the armor set that killed superior. It's also acquired fairly early on in dungeons, does pretty good damage as a archer slash burrs set i tend not to dislike it i think it deserves higher than maxor <laughs> i think it deserves higher than maxor but probably not much higher but that also makes me want to move precursor eye up here i think that's fair basically mid eight here yeah i'm gonna need chat's help for the rest of this because it's either tank or it's items i don't remember what they do one of these is from bingo and lets you double jump into this day is still highly valued and I'm guessing that's spring boots. Save so much time. Yeah, in trap room and all that. I think that deserves an A tier then. So I think that's fair to put it right next to Skelly Master. Right there. Maybe even slightly above because maybe people aren't fish brand like me and actually can remember to restock arrows. There you go. That's the best you're getting. Spear boots, useless. F, 
that's easy. How about super heavy steel and gold ore? So obviously gold ore armor is the tank armor set. In master mode, that's fairly important from what I hear. I don't use it, but based on what Chad is saying, it seems like it would be a low S. We'll put next to spirit mask. There you go. Steel kind of garbo, steel F. All right, so we're just gonna give it an F, get rid of that. Super heavy armor. Oh, so it's upgraded heavy armor, right? Grants plus one speed for every 50 defense. You know what, for that, it gets a D. And there you have it, chat. Finally, we have the official certified 30 virus high pixel skyblock armor tier list. With S tier containing the Wither Goggles, Aurora Armor, Crimson Armor, Terror Armor, Armor of Devon, Mineral, and Rancher Boots. S having Storm, Necron, Warden Helmet. I'm a little tempted to put Warden Helmet up. Blaze and Frozen Blaze is so goaded for fishing. Okay, you know what? I'll move Reaper Mask here to, to be with Goldor. There you go. I'm gonna have to scroll down so you can see. Well, I mean, this is actually a perfect screenshot because you see everything that technically matters, right? Because everything in F tier down here, this is a sign that we're gonna need a rebalance. Looking forward to 1.0 when I get to redo all my tier lists and they rebalance everything. Is Fermento missing? I would probably put Fermento right where Armor of Devon is. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, video, I know it's a stream right now. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. And again, if you can use code 30 virus, it'll save you 5% whenever you buy anything in the high pixel score, score. The high pixel score, we're gonna run with it. Anyways, um, for now, I guess that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.